Hi, my name is Mrs. Kathy, and this is a video series of instruments that we offer at Covina Valley Unified School District. This is for our K5 Tunes video series, a tutorial that we hope that you will enjoy and get a lot out of. Today we're going to be starting with flute. Flute is a very fun instrument. If you really stick with it, it will be very rewarding for you. We want to show you some things today about how to get started with flute. First of all, you notice that I'm sitting down. Flute can be played standing or sitting. If you're sitting, you want to make sure that you're sitting in a chair that uh, will enable you to have your back nice and straight. So instead of sitting scrunched like this, you might want to just think about sitting tall with your back tall, the core of your body tall. Sometimes that means that it might be easier for you if you sit on the front edge of your chair. Some chairs it's a little bit easier to sit tall even when you're sitting back. The first thing that we want to do is uh, let you know about some of the supplies that you might need when you're uh, doing the flute and that is a music stand. Now at school you'll probably have a music stand that's black like this but at home you can have a black stand or you can also have a wire stand that you can get at the music store. You will also be needing a music book and our book that we use here at Covina Valley is called um, Accent on Achievement and you want to notice that at the top of the book it says flute. So all the books that we use, the Accent on Achievement books that we use, all look like this, but it's very important that you get the book for flute. The first thing that I want to point out to you is that we're going to be opening our flute case. And you want to make sure that when you open the flute case, that you open it so that the top of the case is on the top. That makes sense. So um, you'll probably figure out that there might be a name or a label or something like that that indicates to you the top of the flute case. Now I'm opening the case today on my knees. If you have a table or even the floor works really, really well to be able to open your case so that your flute doesn't go flying because your parents have probably paid a lot of money or they're renting the instrument and the instrument is valued at a lot of money and so you don't want the flute to be flying out of your knees. <clears throat> so we want to open the flute case and you see that we have three sections of the flute. And the first section that we're going to be looking at today is the mouthpiece. So once you get the mouthpiece, just go ahead and close up the rest of the flute case. And the flute always goes from your mouth and then the rest of the flute goes to the right. So if you're looking at it like this, from your mouth to the right hand side. You don't want to have the flute going to your left hand side but to the right hand side. So all we're going to do today really is look at how we want to blow into the flute. Sometimes people think about blowing into the flute mouthpiece like they were blowing into a bottle. So you, into the mouth of the bottle or the hole at the top of the bottle. And we want some of the air to actually stream across the top of the hole and we want some of the air to be able to manage its way to get down into the hole. So we want to blow with our lips pucker just a little bit. You notice the shape of my mouth? I'm not putting my lips way over the hole. If I put my lips way over the hole, I won't get a very good sound. And if I put my lip, my bottom lip way back on the hole, I won't get a very good sound either. Also, if I just blow with a very uh, kind of loose lips, I'm not going to get a very good sound that way either. So I, want to, I don't want to really think about blowing candles out like this. I want to instead get my lips on the corner a little bit more firm and do this with my bottom lip so that Now if you're still having problems getting a nice sound to come out of the mouthpiece, what you might want to try to do is try rolling the mouthpiece just ever so slightly 
to find out exactly where that airstream would be the very best place. Everybody's lips are different, and so everyone's going to have a slightly different place to place the flute mouthpiece so that you get the optimum sound. Now, one assignment that I would like to uh, have you do is to, after you've gotten a really good sound and you know exactly where to place it, try holding the note out for four counts, for four seconds. You probably won't be able to do that right away, but think a bit about it in terms of um, a tube of toothpaste where the sound is going to come out in little tiny streams instead of one great big sound at the beginning and then you've run out of breath. So aim for that nice steady stream. Thank you, this has been K5 Tunes and keep practicing your flute.